Good morning, my new morning routine. That's what started when I started my nutritional program. I started taking this, DHA, milk thistle. When this bottle is finished, I'm done. I'm not gonna be taking any more. It's just for a liver detox. This is magnesium citrate. And then, of course, I have my coffee. And after my coffee, and I sit for a little bit, I have my apple cider vinegar, my shot with water. I used to take it just a shot glass, but it hurts my stomach, so I add water now. There you go. That is my morning routine. Also at night, I take this uh, probiotic before I go to bed. This one here I keep in the fridge. And I also take digestive enzymes every meal before or during. I usually take it uh, before with water and then I don't drink water during the meal. And that's it. I'm going to jump on the scale. I know I don't have to weigh myself till tomorrow, but I feel a little lighter. We're just going to check it out. Look at that. 184.8. Woohoo! Been a very busy week. Today is Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Last day of this week, I am having my first meal, which is eggs, as per usual. I've been having that regularly, just two, two boiled eggs, and I'm not too sure what else. <laughs> I think I have avocado here. I'm going to have some avocado. But that's about it for this morning, and it is already uh, almost 12 o'clock. So I think I'm going to break my fast now, have some eggs and some avocado, and yeah we've been very busy we went to the exhibition i took my little grandson his first time to the exhibition this year and i am so grateful and so thankful because it was a lot i mean it was hot that day but he loved it he absolutely loved it saw paw patrol maybe i'll put something here yeah we saw paw patrol but actually paw patrol wasn't there it was only chase didn't matter. The the look on his face when he saw Chase come out was priceless. I'm I'm so glad. And I was able to take him uh, around my birthday. My birthday is August 3rd. So I was able to take him on the 4th, which is the day after my birthday. But I'm so thankful. And then tonight, I'm taking my daughter because we're going to go to the concerts that are at the fair. I wish I would have went on, my, on the 3rd, though. Street Heart and head pins were playing. I think it was head pins. Yeah, I think it was head pins. And I would have loved that. But, you know, I didn't want to go because I'm tired. By the time I get home, by the time I get home from work, I am exhausted. I'm tired. I mean, I, I'm on the go with the little guy and I just want to, I want to spend every time, every minute with him. So, because we're going to be gone for at minimum six months. So I want to make sure I can get a lot of time in with the little guy. Anyway, Anywho, let's get on with our day. He's watching his little Paw Patrol right now. He is so addicted now. It's done. And I'm going to make him some lunch. He's going to have some... I don't know. I don't know what he's going to have. Oh, he's going to have some leftover hamburger from yesterday. And some... What are they called? Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken, leftover hamburger, and some fries. That's his lunch. He's already eaten all of his berries. He's already eaten all of his fruit. He uh, he is definitely a fruit fruit morning baby. Awesome. I'm rambling. I'm rambling on. Anyway, I don't know what we're having for supper, but I think we're having pork chops again because I made up some barbecue pork chops with a really, really awesome barbecue sauce. Thank you, Chuck, from the weekend. We went to Palapalooza, and he gave us some awesome barbecue sauce with pineapple i think i'm gonna have that on my pork chops tonight and possibly some rice with that i don't want i don't think i want potato but i'm definitely having a salad if i get hungry later i bought myself a salad from superstore this morning so that's what we're having good morning it is saturday and it is still my birthday week i'm going to get my nails done and i am suffering <laughs> but we're gonna do it from the night before had a good time with my daughter at the exhibition but I'm suffering <laughs> all right got my nails done what a what a beautiful job she did it's lush 
downtown in Regina on 1956 Hamilton Street. Fantastic. Natalia, I think that's how you say her name. It's Nate, N-A-T-E-L, U or two L two I's A. Thank you. Love it. I am going to have to get them done before I go on our trip again. Um, but right now they are fantastic. But I, I do like the round. When they're my natural nail, natural nails look better when they're round, in my opinion. So on my way home, I'm going to finish my breakfast. I had breakfast this morning. And then Papa's taking me out for supper for my birthday supper. Not sure where we're going yet, but it is something fancy. I'm thinking maybe the diplomat. Diplomat is fancy. Not as fancy as golf's, but golf's is really expensive here. It's downtown here. And it's the one with the big flame in front on uh, Victoria Avenue here in Regina. It's really expensive and I won't, no. I won't make Papa, Papa take me there. It's too expensive. <laughs> anyway, on my way home, finished my breakfast and let's get this day started oh it's already been started let's get this day going <laughs> going out for my birthday dinner to the diplomat with hubby So there was escargot here, but it was eaten and gone in like five minutes. Can I hold it up? A little bit? Yes, sure. please. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Before and after pictures. Before and after. Oh, right? Time. It's just that timing. Stuffed potato, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You called that right. You and did. This medium piece and this secondary big piece will go fair. But I'll still give you the young lady that one. Young lady. And this one for you, sir. Oh. Mm. Thank you. The Bernays sauce on there. Did you like a yeah, fresh pepper as well? Uh, or? Please. Yes, sure. please. We'll help you out there. Take your wow. time. And so first, I got mainly flavored with the brandy first. I mean, how can you be anything with has Grand Marnier, right? Mm. Well, everything Grand works out great with Grand Marnier. So I'm just caramelizing a bit. I even saw on your on your What's dessert that? menu you had like a vintage Grand Marnier. Like what was it like twenty thirty two dollars a shot? And the Grand Marnier call was amazing. I'm going to add a little bit more later, so don't worry. Uh, I'll turn it down a bit. Get that Grand flavor in there. Turn it up a little bit. Then I'm going to soak the crepes in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put some more sauce on that in a minute. I'm going to get this soaked in here before I lose all the mm. It didn't come out because sort of squished it a little bit, but it's going to taste good though. Thank you. What do you think, Paula? Mmm, looks delicious. 